Today we'll uh, demonstrate our working project. Uh, we'll basically uh, do all the tests that we really wanted to do during presentation, but we weren't able because of the uh, MOSFET drivers. Uh, but now that issue has been resolved, uh, we're using new MOSFET drivers from uh, Microchip. Uh, the uh, IR2010s, we have gotten rid of them, so now we have uh, an interface board here where we wired up the uh, uh, MOSFET drivers for the inverter, uh, edge bridge. Uh, they're wired here and then they're working correctly. Also, we made a few modifications on the DC to DC board. We had a totem pole uh, transistors on the to drive these uh, four bags of switches for the push pull uh, uh, transformer on the primary. Now we have uh, proper low side MOSFET drivers uh, that are capable of doing 9 amp peak to drive the MOSFETs correctly. So now uh, we have also uh, made that uh, uh, correction basically. So now everything is working good. All the whole uh, circuit is working correctly. So we'll quickly demonstrate it. So if we can see down here, we have our load hooked up here. We are at 50 ohm resistive load. And uh, we'll basically uh, load our circuit within this 50 ohm load. So we're only using this part here, this 50 ohm. Then we have our scope probe here to measure both voltage and current across the small shut resistor here. So we'll be able to see both the current and the uh, voltage waveform. And we'll be able to display this on this isolated uh, oscilloscope. This will measure our output AC voltage. And uh, this will measure our output AC current into our load. This will measure our DC bus on the DC to DC converter, so on the high side. Uh, basically, yeah, the DC rail for the uh, inverter. This will measure, this is the uh, drain, one of the drain of the uh, H-bridge uh, MOSFETs. This is the, the gate drive into it for the low side MOSFET. Uh, same thing here. This is the high side. Well, the PWM will be SPWM will be. And uh, this will be the uh, low side drive as well. Our input will come from this high current power supply. We'll input 24 volts close to 20 amps. That will give us close to 400 watts of uh, input uh, uh, power. So I'll power up the circuit, the whole circuit. So here we are. So we'll be able to see both current and voltage. And then we'll uh, demonstrate the working tape. Okay, there we are. So the input is 24 volts, as you can see. These are the switching waveforms that we can see. And you can see here also the drain and the gate signal. Uh, you can see our DC bus bang at 170 volts. So if we divide that by square root of 2, we'll be able to get the RMS output at the inverter side, at the inverter output. Our input current, AC current, 2.28 amps our output voltage 120 volts RMS and this is a waveform that we're getting basically uh, we're a bit uh, having issues to trigger on it because of some noise and as you can see here these are out output chokes about 100 milli henries of output choke and we got a bit of capacitance here for the filtering of the uh, the voltage as well we're using this is a capacitance uh, box a decade capacitance box and uh, our load as you can see is basically drawing all the necessary current and also here we have the microcontroller that's generating the SPWM signals to both the MOSFET drivers here the MOSFET drivers accordingly drive the uh, edge bridge so the whole circuit is working and uh, we'll quickly do a, a efficiency calculation so the efficiency calculation we have recorded here at full load uh, in the meantime, we'll just qu uh, quickly turn off our... Uh... Okay, we'll, okay, now we'll do a real quick uh, efficiency calculations. We didn't load it all the way to 500 watts, so just in terms of safety. So we've loaded it quite a bit, so we'll see how much uh, our efficiency is for... Basically, this is a spot check for our efficiency. So our output is 119 volts multiplied by... Since it's resistive load, no power factor is, uh, in, uh, comes into play here, so we'll just do... Uh, current multiplied by voltage that should give us our output uh, power so 2.2 a 3 amps so our output power is 272 watts divided by our input uh, voltage 
multiplied by 16.3 amps so this will give us our spot efficiency check so this is just it's almost 250 so half halfway between what's the rated output of the uh, whole uh, system so we're getting close to 70 percent but i'm pretty sure if we were able to load it all the way to full load we'll be able to get much better efficiency okay